just uh, here to let everyone know about our uh, summertime noise and speed reduction project, uh, Project Tensor. It's going to run, uh, it started last weekend and will run right through to mid-September to address the high speeds and uh, the numerous complaints we're getting over uh, vehicle noise. Well, this year actually with a kind of a minor reorganization within the Traffic Services Division, uh, we've been able to concentrate our uh, resources a lot more towards the noise specifically and the speeding as well. Uh, so that is one uh, portion of it. And uh, this is probably the first year we've actually targeted the noise specifically without just making it a service-wide initiative for people to pick up on their own. There's uh, sections within the Traffic Safety Act that we can address noise uh, more subjectively uh, without the use of a decibel reading. The city bylaw, when we have uh, decibel readings related to motorcycle noise, we can uh, address those through the city bylaw. But there are three or four at least sections within the Traffic Safety Act that we can use and subjectively describe for the purpose of court just how noisy a vehicle is. If we're doing a static enforcement site uh, for speed, and if we can hear a vehicle, whether it be a car, motorcycle, whatever, a block or two blocks down the road, that's subjective evidence in court to say that that vehicle is far too loud and exceeding what's an acceptable uh, noise level. And I'll give you an example of an area of the 105th Street Hill coming up from 97th Avenue. That area as well generates a fair number of complaints. Not necessarily high speed, but because of the fact people are accelerating to get up that grade, it creates the noise. And if it's not an acceptable muffler system on a vehicle, then it's unacceptable noise.